Hi guys, welcome to this quick video of how to top up your car with AdBlue. So I've done 13,000 miles on this vehicle and it now needs uh, some AdBlue. I've got around 300 miles left. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, remove your cap, which is by where your fuel cap is. So it's the blue cap and you can neatly put it away just there. Um, so I'll just show you inside where the filler neck is. There's no kind of restrictions in there, so you can use a funnel to help you if you've just got like a five litre bottle. Um, I've purchased a couple of different types of bottles. So you've two here from Shell. They've got two different slightly, um, or two different um, filler necks to them. Um, so you can see the two different types there. But these are both one and a half litre bottles. So you have to buy quite a few. Another type which I've used is this bag type, which is from a BP petrol station. So this has just got a little cap on the end, but tricky to unscrew with one hand. Um, and it's just like a bag, so it's got kind of a handle at the top, you can put your fingers through. You do kind of need two hands for this. Um, but the neck goes into your filler neck. Just be careful not to spill any, spill any of this, it does make quite a bit of a mess and a stain if you do spill it just be uh, quite gentle. Um, so with the bottles, unscrew the tops. Well this type of bottle it has got this red safety catch just to stop the uh, blue button there from being pressed in. So if you just remove that, you have to remove it. And then these are quite uh, neat because they just screw in. It's unlikely you're going to spill any of this. So this just screws in there. Now with this one you have to press this uh, blue tab in. So you press that, that releases then the fluid. So you might just need to make sure it's pressed in. So it's just uh, underneath. So just a view there. So you can see that's pressed in. So the fluid now is pouring into the, into the tank. Um, as the dash display says, you're gonna need um, six liters. So just fill up as, as much as you can. Certainly a minimum of, of, of six because you tend to find, until, until you put about that amount in, the light actually won't go off. Um, yep, so just leave this to fill in. Once that's emptied, you can remove it. So again, all you need to do now is just unscrew it. beautiful. So with the other type, again, you just need to unscrew the top. There's nothing else to release here, you just screw it straight in to the filler neck. So screw it on. You don't need to go mega tight, just screw it on until it kind of stops. Now with this bottle, we just have to pull it back and then that releases the fluid. So I filled up with uh, seven and a half liters and that was uh, enough to turn the light off. Once that's filled up again I'll just press this one back in just for ease and then unscrew. That's it, when you've finished filling up, all you need to do then is replace the cap, screw it on tight, and then what you can do is just check on your dash display. So after a couple of seconds of turning on your ignition, the warning light then should go out. Okay, well thanks for watching guys. I am going to do another video which explains what the AdBlue system is and how it actually works. So if you're interested in that, please look out for it. Alright, thanks guys. Take it easy.